I try not to play any cancer decks on NA. Whoa, Navi coming in with the host. Thanks so much, Navi. Really appreciate it. Welcome to all the Navi viewers. How's it going? We'll keep Slam, because it's good against Juggler. Navi boys. Nice, do you feel it's as good as oil? I haven't actually tried it myself, but talking to some of the other rogue players, like Astro, like Astro is playing rogue, uh, Asthma Dai, who's another big rogue player, he just said he doesn't like it as much as oil rogue still. But I mean, with a good curve, it is it is quite OP. I would say it's pretty OP. Let's cycle here. Thanks, Allie, for the pull-up. What if they made shaman cards that gave the other person overload? Um, that'd be too OP, I think. I don't think that would fly. Oh wow, the derpy troller. Thanks for the host. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, host, host hype. Kind of feels bad doing this. But I gotta get rid of this ramp, I think. Execute. That's good. Good pickup. We need some card draw. So bounce high lock. In town, there's official tournament at Hearthstone. I'm wondering which decks to go with. Maybe Zoo Lock, Control Priest, and your Warrior? What do you think? I'm not sure if Control Priest is that strong. Zoo Lock sounds fine. Warrior sounds fine. Maybe go with like a, a Paladin. Paladin or, um, or Druid. Seems stronger. Make it a 10 mana legendary that gives each player overload 5. But then you're hurting yourself too. That doesn't sound like it's actually beneficial. How to fix shaman hero power? What's uh, how to fix. Sh oh, summon the totem of your choice and make it discover and give you a choice of totems. Well, they already have Justicar. Justicar Just Card does that, exactly. Give you totem of your choice. You're working you're le working on learning to pilot this list you're playing, by the way. I found that I'm having a lot of trouble maintaining a board state that was comfortable, getting overwhelmed by hand flooding and only be able to brawl once. Um, yeah, so you do have to look for like some of your other answers. It's not always going to be brawl. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you have some questions. I'll try to answer them. Should we kill this? I guess we can go ahead and use the weapon now. Um, Cause I might, I might equip the Gorehal Falling turn. Oh, he actually could get some value from the beast cause the um, Druid of the Claws are actually beasts. But include stuff like Totem Golem Manatide. I don't think that'd be too OP, Nick. I don't think that's, uh, that doesn't sound reasonable. Yeah. If I if I miss your guys' questions, by the way, just uh, tag my name in it. Repeat it. I'll try to catch it the next time I look through chat. Deathwing. We need Reno. Reno nine one one. We're not dead to um, to force of nature yet, but we do need that Reno. Come on. The reason why we do one ups is so we can play Reno. Reno on turn six. Come on, top deck Reno, because then we can hit we can hit the tree. We can play Reno on curve. Come on, Reno, one time. Reno, one time. We called it. We called it. Reno Jackson, twenty-seven. What a top deck, and we're back in the game. Craigasm. <laughs> GG. 
Because now we can play Ysera, no worries. He's used both Innervates. Lacha, during the middle, middle Ages, they burn people like you. <laughs> oh, that's cute, Harrison Jones. Why does he play Recombobulator in this deck? Recombobulator, uh, Druid, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about double combo, because he used he used both innervates. Until he plays Emperor, you can't double combo. Lucker Dog, it's okay. We we've gotten like pretty bad luck earlier, so I don't really I don't really feel bad. I don't feel bad. You find this deck more often than not relies on top decking a lot? Have you played have you played aggro decks? Aggro decks are all about top decking. Top decking that final lethal damage. That's what they do like the entire game, because they're out of cards. That uh, Temple Wolf is actually getting a lot of value. Uh, Haven't they mentioned like fixing Shaman? What do you mean by that? Pretty sure he might be playing a Reno deck as well, Locke. Well, he played two Savage Combatants, so I don't think so. I don't think he's playing Reno. Like, it's not like Savage Combatants is such a good card that you need to run two of. You'd rather run like a Shredder or two. But that's true. If he ran, if he ran an Owl... Could be. Could be. Bobby says, how much longer do you think he'll be streaming for? Uh, at least another hour for sure. An hour or two. Eleanor Bree, how's it going? He magic locks it. Is there a good replacement for Deathwing, or is it too much value? Uh, so on Hearthbone, I the substitutions I usually suggest are using. Um, actually, I could have just gone with Sylvanas there. I could have dropped Sylvanas. Belcher is too conservative. Should have gone with Sylvanas. Uh, the suggestions I go with are Nefarian, Alexstrasza, Ragnaros. In that order, I think in that order preference. Depends. If you face a lot of aggro, maybe Alexstrasza is better. If you face more control, Nefarian is better. And then, I think both those are better than Ragnaros, but just in case you don't have it for some reason. I think we just ignore it. Just go face. Face is the price. Oh, Leonard Breeze has been lurking for a bit, but nice ranking. Thanks, Leonard Bree. We're trying to get back up there. This sounds like a Requiem. Requiem for this Druid, who's about to fall. About to fall. Um, I guess he has to, he has to give us the cog, the cockmaster, right? Uh, and we have a shredder. I mean, actually, if we get a shredder, uh, oh, or Dr. Boom, that works. We're still one off lethal. Do we go for it? I mean, most likely it kills a boom bot, right? Yeah. Perfect lethal. No overkill. Perfect lethal. Classic packs. Oh yeah, you should buy classic packs for sure. But first get the Nax. At least first bring your Nax. Dr. Balance always works, yeah. Easy peasy. 